This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why does a single Z-sphere turn into a solid hemisphere when I turn on adaptive skin? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a single Z-sphere object as my mesh. Now the uses of Z-spheres inside of ZBrush are a great way to start generating base meshes for your models. So you can take some Z-spheres, start adding more spheres to this, and then you can turn it into geometry and sculpt on that form. So the question is asking about taking a single Z-sphere, and when it's converted to a mesh, it's generating a hemisphere that is solid. So why is this happening? So if I go to the tool palette over here and I go down to the adaptive skin area, I can use this preview option here, or press A on my keyboard, and this will take the Z spheres I have selected and then turn them into mesh geometry. So clicking preview here is now going to give me this result by default. So as you can see, I have a hemisphere and it is also solid. So there are a few things that are making the mesh generate like this. The first thing is over here we have a density slider and then directly below this we have a DynaMesh resolution slider. Right now, this mesh, it's taking the Z-sphere form, it's processing it with this density, and then it's converting the mesh that's generated to a DynaMesh. So if I turn on my polyframes here, you can see I have this hemisphere shape, but it's also pretty dense. So let's say I don't want it as dense, and I don't want it filled in. So the filling and the density is part of this DynaMesh resolution process. So if I set this down to zero, this is now going to disable that DynaMesh functionality. So if I toggle preview here and turn it back on, you'll see now this is the result I'm going to get. So I'm still getting that hemisphere, but now it is not generating a solid mesh because it's not processing with the DynaMesh functionality. So when DynaMesh runs, it's going to perform a close holes algorithm, which is what's sealing the back of the hemisphere here. And then it's also going to redistribute even topology across the entire mesh surface. So by disabling the DynaMesh resolution, I'm now left with something like this. Now the density option is going to determine how much density the mesh will have when it's converted from that Z-sphere to geometry. So if I increase or decrease this slider here, you'll see it's going to change the amount of topology on the adaptive skin surface. So if I go up and down, I'm going to change the resolution of that sphere. Now finally, the half hemisphere option here is being generated because I only have a single root Z-sphere. So in order to generate a solid mesh from your Z-spheres, you want to make sure that you have at least two other Z-spheres attached to the root. So if I get out of preview and now rotate the sphere and activate symmetry, let's just go in and add two more Z-spheres to the root. So I'm just going to click and drag to add these. So now I have two more Z-spheres on my mesh here. And now if I activate preview mode, you're going to see it's now going to give me this as my mesh. So I have the density set to two, so I'm getting this amount of resolution. And since now I have added two more Z-spheres to that root, I'm now getting a solid mesh. If you only have one Z-sphere added to the root, you will end up with that geometry again that's going to have a hole in it. So if I turn on this option here, you can see this is the result I'm getting. So you want to make sure that if you do not want the hemisphere, so make sure you add at least two Z-spheres to the root Z-sphere. And then when you activate preview, you're going to get a solid mesh. And then if you do not want the topology to be processed with DynaMesh, just make sure that the DynaMesh resolution slider is set to zero. If it's set to anything other than zero, the Z-sphere is going to be processed, and then it's going to automatically be turned into a DynaMesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.